you are balancing right now really scares me because you're on a narrow um, box with a glass cup on top of it and then the camera on top of that. I'm fine. Oh my god, it didn't break. It didn't break. Did not want to be picking up glass this morning. I am finally back in Miami. It makes me so happy. I've been gone for almost three weeks. It was like a little over two and a half weeks, so almost three. Paris and London are top like five cities for me, I would say. Um, they're in the top five. I just like love them so, so much. And I love Europe in general, but especially Paris and London. I honestly want to explore Europe a lot more. So I have been to London, Paris, Amsterdam, Barcelona, Rome, Florence, the Amalfi Coast, Naples, Nice, Marseille. So I've been to like quite a few places um, in Italy, France, Spain, and I England, I guess, London, and then the Netherlands, Amsterdam, but I haven't spent an extensive amount of time in any of those places besides Spain, France, and England. Amsterdam, I only spent like a day and a half there, so it was a very short trip in college. Fun fact, you guys, I feel like I never shared any like partying, drinking stories. Why? Because I was never that crazy, but I just didn't share it because I just never wanted like my parents to hear it. <laughs> Grew up in a pretty like strict-ish household where you know when your parents get older and they start becoming more relaxed about things. So now they know. Um, but when I went to Paris for my spring break, I went out one night and I got so drunk and I am not someone that gets like that drunk. Like I'm not someone, I'm never, like, you know, some people's goal in the night, especially in college, was to like, go out and black out. Like, I never wanted that. I don't think I've ever even blacked out in my life. I just, that's not what I'm trying to promote. That's not me. But I went out with my friends from college in Paris, and we went to this one place that I don't even know where it was, could not tell you a thing about it. But we went out one night, and it was... Like we were drinking, so I was already feeling drunk. And then the bartender lit a drink on fire. I think it was absinthe, I'm pretty sure. Lit it on fire, made you like, like blow it out, drink it. And then whatever was left over in the cup, he like put it down like on his like arm or something and made you snort it. I did not snort it. I was like, absolutely not, but I did drink it and the bartender was i feel like very aggressive with it and i like after that it was just so bad and the next day this all ties back to amsterdam because the next morning we had a 6 a.m flight to amsterdam and i was incoherent like i couldn't function whatsoever that night and so my friends i was with three friends and so two of my friends were on that flight with me the other one was staying in paris so but the checkout for the airbnb that we were staying at was that day i told my friends in my like super drunk state in the morning i was like leave me i cannot get on a plane like this like i i'm not going on a plane to amsterdam so i woke up way later the next day with the worst hangover of my life um and then i took a train to amsterdam because i missed the flight and then i got to spend only like a day and a half there instead of two days there like my friends did because i got there so late and i even had to like tell the uber on the way to the train ride to like pull over so i could throw up threw up in the train like it was so bad i've never felt like that since that trip i don't know what the bar like i don't know what i drank i don't know this is like a warning sign like if you're young and dumb like i was it was like 20 at the time like don't do that that is so stupid i literally look back at myself and i'm like i could have died like i could have um gotten like alcohol poisoning and literally died so yeah just like be smart about it um but i can share that now that my parents know I am I was very particular with things I shared and things I didn't. So yeah, if you're ever wondering why I didn't talk about like partying or anything like that um, on my channel, it's it's because of my real life, not because I 
like I don't care if you guys know I want to have these conversations but yikes anyways I'm not like that anymore <laughs> that was that was a moment for sure but thank god I'm safe that's all I gotta say seven years later I look back at that and I'm still like, yep, that was the worst I have ever been. Uh, I'm just getting ready for the work day today. I have been gone, like I said, for so long, but I have been working at home. So I was in North Carolina after I went to London and Paris and for a week. And I went to Wilmington to work with my co-founders at my co-founder's place. He, um, the one who lives there. So that was fun. Um, and his dad does like executive coaching and strategy coaching or vision planning for like big companies. So he did one of his sessions with us, which was super helpful and really gets me excited about what is next with Rella. Looking to be a tool that not only creators use, but also agencies use. And so we're onboarding agencies pretty soon. So I'm speaking to so many like talent managers and um, man like, yeah, just like influencer agencies. So if that is you, please message me so we can set up a time to talk also oh my gosh how could i forget i was on forbes 30 under 30 i can't believe i forgot to mention that i just wasn't vlogging when i found out Forbes 30 under 30 did a local edition where they went to like a few top cities in the u.s but there was a ton of cities that did a forbes 30 under 30 and it was their first year doing the local one instead of just like under you know industries or by industry and so me and my co-founder were selected for the um, Miami one, which is just so exciting. And I had no idea this was a thing. I didn't know. So I had applied to the national one because that's the only one that I knew about. I had applied to the national one. I've not heard back from that. I am a nominee though. So they did email me that I'm nominated, um, which is really exciting. So I really hope I do get the national one. But for the local one, I didn't apply to anything. They had reached out to me. And so I had to like fill out a form, answer a ton of questions. It was like so many questions, not just about the business, but most of the questions were actually about like your opinion on things. So like the questions could be like, how do you think COVID affected the economy? And how do you think it made an impact in your business? And do you have a positive or negative outlook about the US economy right now and it was a lot of, and, and why what's the worst advice you've ever received what's the best advice you've ever received who is someone that you want to get dinner with filled that form out and then I found out I got it the day the list came out like they don't tell you beforehand you're gonna be on it they just tell you if you're nominated and they make you fill out that form and then they're like okay well the list comes out on August 9th so the list came out i'm just like so so excited i for the national one as well but they do it by like your team not just you individually so because i have two co-founders connor was on the miami one because he lives in miami and then if we get the national one um i told them about like my other co-founder as well because i think they want to do it by like team and that counts as like one person but anyways i'm just so like grateful that i got that i can't believe it like that's a really big recognition and i know that there's a lot of like stuff that people say like oh my god it's not a big deal you can like pay your way on or blah 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 blah, blah. i'm sure some people can't pay their way on or i'm sure some people um like i don't know like know someone and then that's how they get on the list but like at the end of the day it's still pretty cool to be recognized for it and it's always been one of my life goals is to be on Forbes 30 under 30 because I've always looked at that list with admiration and like the people on it as people I could look up to and like um I always wanted to be someone that was on that list and so I made it and I'm just like so proud of myself and so proud of our team and I'm so grateful for you guys for like letting me do what I love because literally it would be nothing without you I haven't done my makeup in quite a while because I've just been doing no makeup at home and in wilmington and now it feels nice to like put on my makeup and i don't know i feel more like myself if i can get you to purchase one product though it would be this lip balm from summer fridays any color i have literally every single one holy grail if they ever discontinued it i think i would literally purchase in bulk i'm not kidding like a hundred of them because i think this is like my seventh one already so like i run through them very quickly what 
you were just balancing on. So let's put that down before that breaks. got done recording with Alma. Hi guys. I am so excited for this episode. She also lives in Miami and we just got done talking all about how she started her swimsuit business and it's such a good episode. Yeah, it was so fun. I'm so excited to see it. This video is sponsored by Squarespace and if you don't know what Squarespace is, it is by far the easiest way to build your online website. I am a big believer that if you have a business, whether it's a small business, whether you have a startup or you're a solopreneur, you need an online website. I even encourage anyone to have one so that you can show off your resume, your portfolio, you can just have a space that you own and it's a lot of fun to make one. Squarespace has such beautiful templates and they're all customizable so you don't need to work worry about yours looking like your friends because you can customize it however you want and i've used other website builders and squarespace is by far the easiest the most customizable and i think it has the coolest templates and they have 24 hour customer support so if you have a business that is very important you can't have your website down for any reason so they're always there to support you and it's award winning i use it for rella's website so you know that i trust it and if you want 10 percent off your first purchase you can go to squarespace.com slash natalie barbu or you can use my code natalie barbu at checkout good morning starting off the morning with a workout i actually really don't want to work out today but I'm doing this 14 day power Pilates thing on form. And so I'm going to force myself to, it's only 30 minutes. So I know I'm just gonna feel so much better afterwards. And it's in the comfort of my own home, which I love. I'm doing day eight, sculpt and lengthening Pilates. Let's do it. And I'm wearing form. <laughs> I actually bought Sam and Clark's workout clothes and I'm obsessed with them. Like the sports bra is incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing form, doing form. Let's do this. out i knew i would feel better afterwards this is your sign if you're thinking of not working out today just because you don't want to um i mean do it i do that all the time but you will feel better if you work out this is the form set that i was talking about i am obsessed with it i think the leggings are really good quality but honestly i'm more obsessed with the sports bra than the leggings if you can only pick one i would pick the sports bra and i'm usually like always more into the, like the leggings i always think people do leggings better but in this case this sports bra is perfect especially for girls with small boobs um i'm sure if you get like a bigger size it also flatters big boobs but whenever i buy sets on amazon the sports bra literally goes down to here and i have a really small torso so i like my sports bras to be narrow and this one does that and then the halter in the back is just a cute touch and it's adjustable. I've never seen a sports bra with adjustable straps, so I think that's really nice. Um, but anyways, I got the Rella bag, and I am going to go to the grocery store and also go to Target. Just made lunch i made pasta salad this is my favorite go-to meal so i have like the lentil pasta salad or pasta um tomatoes cucumber bell peppers spinach olives mayo olive oil and vinegar and it is so good and has a lot of protein because of the noodles without having to have meat in it so i love it okay guys the shirt if you watched the last vlog oh i got your girl <laughs> This is the the Single. mastermind behind it. I mentioned that um Well, we don't know that yet. Okay. <laughs> you know? The single and loyal though, like that It makes it seem like I got cheated on, I feel like, and I'm like loyal. No, it's just to the point. Nobody's loyal anymore. 
Also, I love that her name is like both front and back. Yeah. Like I didn't notice that I until now. it from all angles. Also, I mentioned that you get asked out on dates on your walks. So, <laughs> so I'm like, this is why the I'm shirt is made. I wish we had these. Yes. I wish we had this in Australia. The Can shirts. you imagine? Yeah. I would have gotten a lot of traction. <laughs> yeah, but I also think Australian men are just, they would ask you out anyway. Yeah, true. American men are different. Also, <laughs> the pictures that I picked. I know. The lips. This one's like the tennis skirt. Mm -hmm. This one on Hinge is a success, but then it's like they expect me to play tennis with them. And so I'm like, ah. Well, if you showed up to our lessons, <laughs> that would be a problem. You're not wearing that to the movies. Yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're not. Yeah, we are. I'm it's not kind going. It's because we're going to Aventura. No, That's you're not wearing this to the movies. Like, we'll, we'll be together and then you just go ahead of us. We'll be like, oh, I'll put you Yeah, start. just walk away. Yeah. I'll be like, they'll come up to me. I'll be like, actually, she's here. <laughs> Bring her out! <laughs> Bring her out, <laughs> boys! <laughs> Funny you should say that. She's actually in the bathroom. She'll be on inside. I have like I'm like wearing a dress. I'm like. <laughs> I'll just do like a little overlay of your name.